Adventures of Skyrim. In today's video, we've gathered some truly beneficial and up-to-date mods for you. From the impressive MCO move set to various visual enhancements, I'll present them all in an organized manner. So without further ado, let's dive right in. First, let me introduce you to the latest MCO moveset. There are several diverse movesets either released or in development. I've brought a few noteworthy ones for you. First up is the recently released ADXP IMCO Neo 2 Dual Katana moveset on Nexus. This moveset replicates the Dual Katana moveset from Nio 2 into Skyrim. With fast and nimble motions, it seamlessly integrates with the Stance's dynamic animation sets, allowing you to switch between low, medium, and high stances, each offering different attacks and skills. Craft an item called Dual Swordsman's Locks at the Forge, equip it, and you'll be able to use this moveset with dual katanas. Pressing the T key along with movement keys allows you to change stances. It supports a total of three stances, so feel free to switch them according to the situation. This moveset also includes dodging and comes with an applied scar patch for smooth NPC usage. Enjoy more dynamic action with the Neo 2 Dual Katana moveset. Next up is the currently in development Skyrim Vindictus Fiona moveset. Created by X and Y, this moveset applies the combat actions of Fiona, a popular character from Vindictus, into Skyrim. It faithfully reproduces Fiona's attacks, defenses, dodges, counters, and skills. While also incorporating X and Y's distinctive style for a more dynamic and stylish movement. Combining directional keys and attack buttons allows for a wider range of special attacks. The motions for blocking enemy attacks with the shield and counter-attacking are well implemented. Currently, it's still in development and undergoing testing, so you might want to keep an eye on it. Next, we have Yongrimin's MCO Devil Sword Dante Reanimated with Gunslinger. This moveset brings Dante's attack animations from the Devil May Cry game into Skyrim. The Dante moveset has been completely revamped with improved weapon effects, sound, and attack motions for a more stylish experience. It adeptly captures the fast-paced and lively action characteristic of the Devil May Cry games, offering a variety of ways to dominate enemies through aerial jump attacks and combos. Additionally, the newly added Gunslinger allows for powerful long-range attacks on foes. Utilizing stances with Switch Animation and Spaghetti Western, the Gunslinger is activated by enabling the top stance. The attack button triggers aiming, while the defense button initiates rapid firing. Combining the rapid fire button with directional keys activates even more stylish actions providing a true Devil May Cry experience in Skyrim. If you're looking to bring that action-packed gameplay into Skyrim, this moveset is definitely worth keeping an eye on. Next up is the Archer mod. This mod is still in development and offers a unique experience of using a rapid-fire wrist crossbow in conjunction with a magical bow. Unlike traditional slow crossbows, this one allows for quick successive shots and is fired through the right hand without the need for both hands. That's not all. Through the hotkeys skill framework, you can assign shortcuts to use even more stylish magical bow motions. This incredible effect will bring a new level of innovation to Skyrim Archer. Shows. Keep an eye on this amazing The Archer mod as it continues its development, as it's sure to bring something special to the table. In this time, we introducing our spotlight on the latest mods from Nexus. We've selected a few noteworthy ones, so be sure to watch until the end. First up is Rin's Broken Tower Redoubt. This mod is part of Rin's Skyrim project, 
which aims to enrich Skyrim's world with intricate and engaging details. It extensively enhances the exterior of the previously somewhat lackluster Broken Tower Redoubt Fortress, adding new locations and foes for a more challenging and enjoyable adventure. Experience the revitalized Broken Tower, Redoubt by Rin, and breathe new life into Skyrim. The second mod that brings even more immersion to your experience is Simple Sit. This mod allows you to sit or lie down anywhere using hotkeys. While NPCs are always able to do so, you no longer have to stand rigidly. Press Y to play the animation for crossing your legs and sitting, Shift plus Y to trigger the lying animation, and Lalt plus Y to trigger the animation for sitting on a shelf. To stop the animation, simply press Y. Experience a variety of character behaviors with the Simple Sit mod. Next up is the Peace Boss New Spriggan Matron. This mod offers a fresh redesign of the natural spirit known as the Spriggan Matron, and even includes an image of the Spriggan Matron on the loading screen. Since it only changes the appearance of the Matron and not the original Spriggan model, it provides a wider variety of Spriggan appearances. There are two versions available, allowing you to choose the one that suits your preference. If you prefer creatures with a more feminine appearance, give it a try. In this time, we introducing the latest standout outfits and amazing combinations from Nexus in this segment. First up is Obi's Crimson Outfit. This outfit, crafted by Obikni, adds a range of red-themed attire, it's perfect for characters with a villainous edge or those resembling Little Red Riding Hood who might have encountered a wolf. The outfit even includes an SMP cape, though it's not personally to my taste. It could be worth trying out. It also complements vampire characters quite well. If you like the outfit showcased in the video, feel free to give it a try. Next, Let's explore the combination of Coco Ronin outfit and the cosplay pack. While it's somewhat similar to what we discussed in the previous video, this time we've chosen Coco Ronin outfit as the base attire to give it a more casual yet distinctly samurai-inspired feel. For the Ronin outfit, I've equipped the gloves, arm shield, strap, and top. On the other hand, for the cosplay, I've opted for an outfit that mirrors the screen for a more casual look. I've incorporated shades of black from the Ronin outfit as the foundation. If you find this combination appealing, I encourage you to try it out for yourself. Thank you for joining us on this journey through innovative Skyrim mods that breathe new life into your game. These remarkable creations promise to redefine your Skyrim experience. Don't forget to subscribe for more exciting content. Until next time, happy adventuring.